hey guys what is up welcome to another vlog i totally flaked on recording while we were in kiwa it's wesley's family's beach house and i just like it's their private home so i just didn't want to film everything in the house and that kind of stuff but if you follow me on instagram i saved like everything to our vacay highlight and if you follow me already i posted a ton but we are back it's wednesday back to reality wesley was like stop saying that but i had such a good time the weather was so nice um yeah we just had the best time so of course i'm a little bit sad to be back what did i do today yeah just today i caught up on work when i went to the grocery store super early this morning like 7 a.m i did a really fun zoom workout at 12 with some of my friends and yeah so i didn't run i was really looking forward to running today and i totally forgot about the zoom workout so that was really fun though and i got like right back into my routine this morning i did my smoothie and had my salad which was great and yeah so i'm trying to think of what we're even doing this week um i talked about this on my story earlier today but wes and i were talking about this we were at the beach and ever since everything opened back up after covid we just kind of went wild with like going out to eat and going out to get drinks that kind of stuff and i just like miss how creative we were getting with food and like recipes and making drinks at home and that kind of stuff and it's just like it's also such a waste of money like i just cringe every monday when i think about how much money i spend on the weekend like going out and stuff so we're making a conscious effort to get it together to do more rest do more recipes to cook at home more to eat in more just kind of yeah I don't want to say save money but it's more or less just like we like our we like being creative like we like cooking that kind of stuff so we're making a conscious effort to start cooking more at home to just do more time at home if that makes sense but yeah so that means more recipes for you guys sometime this week i'm gonna film my go-to smoothie because i post it all the time on instagram but I figured I would share it with you guys and show you guys how I blend it all up in the morning because I've been having the smoothie for probably like two months now and I love it. It's great. It keeps me full all morning and it has good healthy fats and protein and yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that this week, I think. And then also I was like talking with some friends while I was at the beach and you know kind of just talking about like more of what they like to see as far as workouts and recipes and that kind of stuff so another thing I want to definitely do as far as recipes is more like sheet pan stuff just because people love that it's so easy you throw everything in a sheet pan and then you move on um and you can do stuff while you cook and it's also easy cleanup but anyways um workouts I'm gonna be doing more like some more 10 minute hit or like 15 minute arms just because everyone's busy like not a lot of people have an hour every day to work out even when working from home um like people with kids people in college also if you're back in college i don't know how much equipment you have access to like gyms probably aren't open yet i don't know so i'm gonna do more of that i'm gonna film one tomorrow planned on doing it today but today was a long catch-up day with work so yeah I still have changed out of my workout clothes for my workout at noon. So it's just been like one of those days and we went on a long walk and then I came home, did emails, all that stuff. And then it's six o'clock now. I just got done cutting up veggies for dinner and like cleaning up the kitchen. And oh yeah, these pumpkins are so cute. I want to show you guys that I got the storage and ignore this mess situation I have going on. Aren't these the cutest? One is, I saved the labels just in case I wanted to know what they were. This is a Casper pumpkin. I think this one's firework. Sparkler pumpkin. And this one is a tiger stripe pumpkin. I almost bought five and then I was like, I just, that's unnecessary. And I'm just gonna like keep them on this little counter. And I'm gonna get some fall candles out because when we woke up this morning, it was 57 degrees. I just love the fall so much, so I wore a hoodie when I went to go grocery shopping and it felt so great. And I finally got a ring light and this thing is kind of a piece of junk. Like, 
I don't know. I Maybe I just haven't figured it out yet, but it keeps collapsing on me and it's driving me crazy. I used it today for a picture though and it worked pretty good. Like the light itself works pretty good, but the stupid tripod thing like keeps collapsing. I don't know, maybe it's operator error, what else? Oh, with the beach, I started reading The Law of Attraction. You guys, this book is so freaking good. If you haven't read this book, get it. Because I've been sleeping well, I've been sleeping on it, but I have been wanting to buy it for so, so long, and I just haven't, and I don't know why, and I swear to God, it's life-changing. I am doing, like, the journaling. I already did the journaling prompts this morning. I'm going to keep it up. Oh, my God, it's so good. Definitely life-changing. So, yeah, highly recommend that book. I'll link it. And, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I had my Chinese chicken salad for lunch. Oh, my God, I, like, love that salad so much that... I posted on Instagram today, but I also have been eating it for probably like the last three weeks. No, I didn't eat it last week, but it's just so good. I like missed it while we were at the beach. But yeah, so I'm gonna take a shower and then what am I gonna do? After dinner, I need to do something. I just picked our videographer for our wedding. I was between two and I was like, just make a decision, Arnie Katie because I kept putting it off and they were emailing me and now I need to do something about the DJ. Yeah, so it was just one of those nonstop kind of days. Oh God, and I need to text the girl back on my wedding dress that I don't know which one I want. Wedding planning is first one. I've already said that, I know. Okay, but yeah, I'm gonna do a mask, I think, or a peel because my skin is so, yeah, I'm like breaking out of my chin. And my nose always gets burnt at the beach. Y'all, these freckles on my forehead. The older I get, the more freckles I get. And they're not even necessarily, that's what's scaring me now, is that it's not necessarily just freckles. It's kind of like pigmentation. Whereas freckles used to be cute. And now it's just like sun damage. So, yeah. No one wants to be old and wrinkly. And I'm actually due for Botox. And I can tell I've been grinding my teeth again. So I need to get my masseter Botox. And he's upset because he misses the dogs that he was staying with. And I feel really bad. Okay. I'm going to go shower. God, you guys. There is nothing. Okay, let me find a better angle here. There is nothing like showering in your own shower. After you've been on vacation for five days. I'm going to turn this fan off. So you guys can hear me, which is probably not what I should do, considering it's really steamy in here. But yeah, I just like shaved my whole body. I feel so good. Um, I washed my hair right before I went on vacation, and I thought I'd want to wash it at least once or twice at the beach, but I never ended up putting my head under the water because the one day I was going to. I stepped on a jellyfish, but I didn't get stung. I just stepped on it and then I panicked and I was like, I have to get up here. But yeah, I'm still a little crispy. My back is burnt. That's okay. So yeah, my skin is just like not right. Um, last night we got home, I, you guys, I don't know what the hell these products do. I can't tell you what they do, but I know they work. So last night when I got home, I did the glycolic peel pads from Sephora collection. They're a dupe for something and they work, I swear to God, just as good because I've had them before or I've used it before, whatever it is. And then the F Balm from Drunk Elephant, which is supposed to be super hydrating. It's like an overnight mask, but it's really like a cream. Everything's falling out of my cabinet. But yeah, my skin just feels like a little texturized. And the face wash that I took to the beach is not the face wash that I usually use. And I just think it didn't really do me any good, to be honest. So I think I just need to do a little peel. Put this on. I'm going to keep it on for 10 minutes. Actually, I'm going to put lotion on first. I don't know. I need to do this and then make dinner. I'm going to show you guys how I make Brussels sprouts every time. I was going to change things up and like put some different seasoning on them but then the more i thought about it 
of like why I change them if they're always good. I think I'm gonna like string them something else though once I take them out. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, body lotion. I always use, I'll show you guys, but it's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter, but it's the lotion, not the cream. Because I just frankly don't like dipping my hands into a jar. But this literally reminds me of childhood. I feel like my mom always used this. And yeah, we gotta maintain this tan, you know? I'm actually kind of sad that it's getting chillier because I just got probably my best beach tan that I just got, that I got all year because of coronavirus, we didn't go to the beach. You know, it's option. Actually, we only went to the beach twice, I think. And we usually go like five or six times probably since Wes's family has a beach house. Okay, my stupid towel keeps almost falling off so I'm about to go put some clothes on. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put clothes on then I'm gonna put the peel on, so BRB. Okay, I have to turn the fan back on because it was not airing out in here. Yeah, I'm actually gonna spray my hair with some oil first. I have been using this stuff for, I can't even tell you how long it's, I think the brand is Organics, but they changed it to OGX. It's the, it's the, it's just spray argan oil. Because I just am lazy and I hate washing my hands many times, so I love a spray to put in my hair. This I got in my, you can always call it a birch box, but it's Allure Beauty Box. This is. Eva NYC Main Magic Multi Benefit 10 in 1 Primer. <laughs> it has argan oil in it. There's another one that I love. Um, I don't know, I've always used this like before I straighten my hair. And this one smells freaking amazing. Nature Lab Perfect Shine Oil Mist. This one smells so good i'm almost out of it so i'm using it sparingly but i usually just spray like one or two oils or products or whatever on my hair and then i just brush it through and then i'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit because i just don't feel like doing it right now and it gets frizzy no matter what i do all right i'm gonna wash my hands i literally said i didn't want to wash my hands and that was why i was using spray products but I'm gonna touch my face. I'm so paranoid about it and I have to wash my hands. So, yeah, the, they say on this, like, do not leave on for more than 10 minutes. And it looks wild. You have blood all over your face. I think that might be too much. Oh, uh, crap. Ooh, I don't want that on my eyebrow. No, my eyebrows are Michael Blinn. Usually I would do my neck, but I just don't feel like putting that down there before I get on my sweatshirt and I need to pull my hair back because it's gonna get in there. Oh my god, I gotta wipe that eye out of my eyebrow. Oh my god, I <laughs> look terrifying in this video. That's great. Okay, let's get this out of here. Okay, what? I hate when I do that peace sign thing. I don't know why I do it. Alright, you guys, let's go i can't carry all the things that i need to let's make some brussels oh little baby sleeping you want to go on the porch he's dark pressed. um okay so i'll just show you guys i already cut these up i was going to make so i made these like truffle parmesan oh my god you can't even see me these truffle parmesan potatoes um, with truffle oil, but I don't know. I'm feeling doing something different today. I just chop up a bunch of red potatoes. It's probably like three or four because Wes eats a lot more than I do. And then I was just reading an article about doing the perfect Brussels sprouts, and it says that if you cut them in half, they like steam better. The inside gets more tender if you place them face down and I cut I don't know sometimes I do sometimes they're too big so I cut them in like quarters I don't know I'm gonna try that method and make sure they're all like semi facing down and yeah I don't know but okay so Brussels I always cook I always cook all of my veggies at 25 um potatoes I'll usually do like 45 minutes usually between 35 and 45 minutes 
and then brussels i will do like 20 to 25. i like my veggies crispy was like some a little less crispier than i do so we compromised and then i got salmon that has been marinating <laughs> this looks disgusting um wes was like i don't know if you should have marinated it this way but i usually marinate it like um like a maple I was saying maple cinnamon. Um, I usually do it with coconut aminos. So it's basically like a soy. It's a substitute for soy sauce. So usually it's like a soy glazed salmon. And I do like a little bit of maple syrup, coconut aminos, olive oil, that kind of stuff. That's like my favorite recipe. And I am going to film a video with that probably next week because it's just so good. Oh, but anyways. While we were at the beach, Wes's aunt had this lemon herb aioli that was so bomb. We put it on like our sandwiches every day. It smells different than it tastes. But I found it at the store today and was like, this would be so good on salmon, which I think it's going to be. So I marinated it in, I marinated it in the sauce with olive oil. I'm not sure how it's gonna turn out. I'm gonna sear it and then I'm gonna put it in the oven with a little bit more sauce on it. I need to season it up first. But we're gonna see how it turns out. I'll let you guys know. Could be good, could be meh. Salmon to me is like never bad unless it's not cooked enough. I'm gonna make dinner. I'm gonna take, oh, I need to set a timer for this mask. I look crazy. I don't know, I know my hair is in it. I'll probably watch Housewives. Until Wes gets back from the gym because he hates housewives. And when you will be watching this, you will probably know what I'm talking about, but the Teddy Mellencamp drama about her basically starving people. Yeah, I just want to touch on that. I can't believe some, I can't believe she does this. I can't believe it's basically a multi-level marketing scheme where her coaches like recruit coaches and then people are made to eat a 500 calorie 500 calories a day for at least two weeks and they're like insanely strict and I just like am I can't believe like I can't believe it I just thought like she was a nice like health accountability coach I can't believe that someone in such a public eye is doing that I just any diet that asks you to do anything like that like huge red flag as a woman you should never be eating under 1200 calories a day never you should never be losing your period anything that's like insane anything that just sets off a red flag in your head like this is really restrictive is usually not good that's why i try to always preach everything in moderation i'm not perfect no one is perfect i think that you should eat mostly whole foods and i think that you shouldn't deprive yourself of things if you want a cookie you should have a cookie don't eat 12 but i think the more you restrict yourself the more likely you are to go off the rails i think you should just eat whole foods focus on eating plants protein fruits those are plants but yeah just eat whole foods and i every time i say that i think of whole foods like the store but no eating whole foods like don't restrict carbs don't restrict any food group restriction is bad everything in moderation okay thank you for coming to my health ted talk i'm gonna cook dinner okay so our salmon turned out amazing i will pop a picture up here of what our dinner ended up looking like it was so good highly recommend seasoning or marinating it with that lemon aioli and then an olive oil and then I seared it and then brushed a little bit more of it on there and put it in the oven for six to eight minutes. I'll list the recipe. I'm definitely gonna make that again. But yeah, I'm gonna dry my hair. I usually just dry the roots. Like if I um, wash it at night because if I don't do that, my hair seems to get a lot greasier faster, but I'm gonna dry my hair. And then we're watching um, Cobra Kai on Netflix, and it's basically like the grown up version of Karate Kid. And it's better than I thought it would be. And then I'm gonna put some skincare on and go to bed. It's already 8 o'clock, super late tonight. Okay, I'm gonna dry my hair. 
hope you guys enjoyed this and i will talk to y'all in the next one i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow i'm gonna record my smoothie i think and then i'm gonna work out so maybe vlog will be next day all right i'll talk to you guys later see y'all in the next one